All right, so what am I looking at here? I'm looking at the banner for the Western Horsemanship First Annual. It's Good. A it's, challenge. Uh huh. And this is September. Next weekend. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. And the chamber's putting this on. Yeah. 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 Cool. And how many participants do you think we'll have? We'd like to. Have, we're hoping for a hundred. Fifty 100? to hundred was what we're shooting 100. for. Fifty to hundred. Yeah. Wow. This is impressive. Trophy saddles. Trophy saddle. Yeah. Trophy saddles. Great. Trophy saddles, six trophy buckles. Here we're looking for control, but, speed but we're still looking for agility and speed. Okay. So there's a, you know, that changes the equation quite a bit when you when you put it that way. It changes the pressure on the horse. It changes the pressure on the rider, and also we're looking for how does the rider get the job done. If you see a rider get a job done that the skill called for, but they're using a lot of spur and a lot of mouth, yanking hard on the face, they're going to lose a lot of points real quick. And what's your horse's name? Donna. Yeah. I'll just, um, That's Donna. Try to Donna. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, where are you guys from? We're from Agudulce, California. Uh -huh. And uh, we are, uh, we heard about the rant, this horsemanship skills about two weeks ago and try to get ready as quick as we could. Uh huh. And um, just having a ball today. Good, good. And how did you find the course today? Today the course was tough, I have to say. I started Friday and today was the probably one of the toughest days. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that because uh, of the diffi difficulty of the course itself, of the um, tests that are set up? The yes and no, the difficulties and then the saddling and unsaddling and um, going through the different obstacles, roping the cow, having to do the rope was not the easiest. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you do this for sport? Yeah, for fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> been doing it for fun just for Friday. This is a, this is the first time we've done a course. This is the first oh. time I've done a course with my horse. So we just saw the advertisement, got an email about it, and thought, okay, that sounds like it'd be be a fun thing to do. Nice challenge. Sure. So, and uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Acton. Okay. I live in Acton in Peaceful okay. Valley. And you uh, you got an email about it? Yes, received an email about it, and, and uh, Janine also suggested it, who's uh, my trainer, been helping me with my little mare, so sure. she thought it'd be a fun thing for us to do. Uh-huh, and will you come back to the next one? Oh, definitely. Uh -huh. Yes, we're definitely uh -huh. going to come back and do better. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> well, good. Thanks very much for the interview. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Start with Norris. Norris on Bob. He has a 556 total points for the number one score. Saddle or one of those two. They're, this one is just like one of the others. You can choose which one you want. They're 16 inch seat. I don't know if that's any good for you, but that's what they are. These are made by Colorado Saddlery. They're good, good solid wood, good trees, raw hide cover. I think it would be a good saddle to have. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, Mr. Jorgensen, now Vasquez High School is opening up, right? That's right. We're open for, for business, and all these guys right here get to show their talents Friday uh -huh. 4 o'clock at playing L.A. Baptist in the varsity at 7. First home game. Wow. So, is it? Hey, have you, have you called the vet? <laughs> these puppies are sick. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, let's call the taxidermist. I don't think <laughs> but yeah, so we're all getting there. Back to school night, period one. These Super. Guys just come out and hang out and see who's coming on their campus. But uh, these are the guys that are working hard, getting ready for football, getting coached back home, we're running the scheme thing. So we'll see on Friday. All right. How we're much yelling I get to do. Look forward to a great season. Berkowitz. Berkowitz. Armando Alonso. Vince Barton. <laughs> Brad Hefner. Zach McGuire. Jump! <laughs> Chad Dashnall. <laughs> Chris Stroman. Guess high school is open for business, right? Yes, we are. Yes. How many students do we have this year? 625 right now and counting. 
Is that an all-time record? Uh, so far, this is the largest number we've opened with. That's right, huh? Yeah. We enrolled uh, approximately 40 students over the summer, new students. Uh-huh, so isn't that good? Virtual Academy is taking off, as well as our Opportunity Program has expanded, as well as our classrooms have expanded. Aha, uh -huh. and new classrooms. And new classrooms, and they're newly carpeted, newly painted, they're ready to go. Uh huh, uh huh, so and you're ready to teach in one of them. No, she's not. I'm the school counselor. The school counselor. She how can sure you they all graduate? <laughs> how can you handle these rambunctious kids? Oh, they're great. They're great kids. You guys are great. Keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> So much energy, I can't believe it. Yeah, no, they're great kids. Uh huh. And uh, do you place them in colleges and universities if you can? Is that part of your function for part the seniors? Yeah, I help them find the schools that match what they want to do. Uh huh. Well, that's super. And they're getting more, better, and better prepared all the time. I think. Oh yeah, we have great kids. Uh huh. We have great kids. Super. Could I get your name? Leela Harrison. Okay, L I L A. L-E-L-A? L-E-L-A. -L -E -L -A. I almost got it right. Yeah, really good. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, but she's, this is the first counselor who has provided our students with a, uh, every student, including Virtual Academy and Opportunity, has a four-year plan. Oh. So they know what they're supposed to do in order to stay on track to graduate. So as a parent, as a four, <laughs> parent, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. So That's our kids a are ready. huge relief. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And that way you know if they're falling behind, which you need to keep them up. Sure. So, yep. Well, best of luck for this year. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. A lot of credit has to go to uh, Al Shanefield, uh -huh. our maintenance operation and transportation uh -huh. director, who was out here every day and, uh, and many times in the late evenings, making sure things were accomplished. Well, that's good, and you're not through yet. You said uh, you're going to put some classrooms out here in the quad. And we have a few more to. Uh, accommodate the needs uh, of our growing campus uh -huh. and we have a number of uh, other opportunities that we're going to be able to promote uh, within the programs with a library that we're going to be starting here very shortly uh -huh. uh, and uh, our film studio which is expanding uh -huh. uh, this art room that we're currently in right now hopefully we'll be able to double that uh, when we put the new facility in, so uh, we're excited. Uh -huh. It almost makes me want to go back to high school, but I graduated once, I don't want to test my luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, art for high schoolers, what an exciting adventure. It is exciting because I get to um, talk to them about their future, and that's the best. Uh huh, uh huh, and you've had great luck inspiring them, I know. Oh, yes, we had an, an amazing student that got into Art Institute last year, and he really? actually created this. His uh -huh. name is Romero Ramirez. Really? He created uh -huh. this with Aaron Fife uh -huh. together and so Romero? He won Ramirez. 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 And yeah. he won an art scholarship to AI last year. So that was our big success story. A little bump here and there, but we're pretty much on schedule. Uh huh. I think I told you we were going to finish up in April last time. Yes, you so did. I, I, we're still on schedule to do that sometime in the middle part of April, more or less. Good. A look that makes it look like it's weathered wood, but it's concrete. Oh, yeah. So that stuff's put in the uh, form here. That's what you guys are... That's what all that stuff is. Oh, yeah. All along there? Yeah. So people will be able to see that from this side, I guess. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking out off the ridge, uh -huh. or if you come, by, come up by horse. <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's I, right. I think there are some horse parking stalls here. <laughs> yeah, well, Adrian said that. Yeah, he said that there was a hitching post out in front or yeah, something. Right over there. Uh huh. You're president of ATA. Right, exactly. We okay. say ADA. ADA. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, are there any challenges that you see? or? Well, certainly the challenge, the way I see it, I see it a little differently. Okay. I really think we need to be extremely positive in the relationships of every group in our district. Oh, ah, good. And I really believe in each and every one of the teachers. We have a fantastic group of people. Sure.